Hey up YouTubers, how are we? Ever wondered how to reset your service light? Or run some diagnostics on your BMW? Well today, with this little thing and this cable and something that works on the phone, I'm going to show you how. Motor scan. If you fancy a bit of that, stick around and stay tuned. Motorscan, so what's it all about? Um, we need a couple of things first. You need um, an OBD link um, connector, usually used on cars. The OBD link LX is probably one of the cheapest that will work with your BMW. Most of the cheaper ones won't send the signal. It's not a strong enough signal to be able to reprogram the ECUs or to reset the service light. So that's the OBD uh, link LX. So the cheapest place I found um, the OBD Link LX was was from Gendar Automotives. It was um, 59.99. You can get it off um, AliExpress, different places, eBay, sent from China, but cheapest in the country. I'll put a link down below where I got that from. Free postage, came with a couple of days, great service. Then all you'll need is a OBD Link to um, round OBD Link for the BMW motorbike. You can buy expensive ones of these. This was bought off eBay, it was 9.99. The only problem was, the moulding on the plug was incorrect. Um, I'd already bought one, sent it back, got my money back, ordered another one with them because I thought it was a, just a one-off. But it came back the same way. Um, the moulding's on as it plugs into the uh, connector, onto the bike, um, was wrong. So I actually broke that off. But it does actually fit in because it has um, a placement of where it goes into the OBD link. So then what, what scan version do you go for? Well, I went for the Pro version. I didn't go for the top end version because I didn't really want to start messing about um, rewriting ECUs which you can um, which allows me to reset my service light read fault codes and uh, reset fault codes so at 21.99 I think it was um, wasn't too bad but then you add everything up together 59.99, 9.99, 21.99 you're looking at £91.80 for the beginning just to reset your service light is that worth it? Well, yeah, why not? If you took it down to your BMW dealer, he's going to charge you, what, 40 quid? 30, 40 quid just to reset it. So now the BMW is out of uh, warranty. I haven't extended the warranty with it, so it's up to me to maintain it. I'm not paying dealer prices just to drop a bit of oil, do some simple stuff with it. Um, so that's why I bought this. So let's have a look at how it works, shall we? So the first thing you need to do is to get your T25, take the panel off, on the right hand side of the motorbike, which is where the battery is. Comes off relatively easy. And in there is your connection for your OBD link. It's got a waterproof cap, waterproof cap comes off. Cable. So as you can see here on the cheap version of the cable, the um, the, the plastic has been snapped off because where it um, connects in with the slot into the OBD link on the motorbike. Um, it was moulded wrong, who I bought it from, so they've never had a problem before, but it was probably about 10 degrees out, and there was actually a mark on the plastic that showed where the original one goes. So that now just fits in to the connector. Run your OBD link, Alex plug straight in. As you can see the, the, the bike at the moment is powered off but it is actually getting power from it which allows the Bluetooth technology to be able to boot up and connect this to your phone. So we'll connect this to the phone and then we'll power it up and then we'll reset the service light for a start off. So what I found with this is that every time I connect the OBD I don't know if it's um, a Google 10, my phone's just been upgraded to a Google 10, I don't know if it's a Google 10 problem or it's the OBD LX that every time I try and connect it through Bluetooth I've got to delete it off my phone and reconnect it. So I don't know. So we'll start from new. So from the OBD link, you press a little button on the side and you can see the Bluetooth is, is now flashing. So then if you go into your Bluetooth menu, pair new device, it will now run. And there's the OBD link. We click on it and it'll pair. Hello. 
So now we're currently connected, which is awesome. So there's motor scan. Let's boot it up. So one of the things that you want to do before you try and do anything with it, if you go into the um, settings, and you click in the settings and you go into the communications, which allows you to set up the device, either Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. So we're on Bluetooth because we're on the Bluetooth LX, and then it, it usually comes up and tells you what the Bluetooth settings are. Then from that, you go back into there and then go into your adapter check. And then that, what this does is the motor scan looks at it, it makes sure that the interface is present and everything's fine. So the software has now checked that the uh, diagnostic adapter is uh, compatible and everything's fine. So we're all connected, everything's great. Now, what you can do, which I have done, is the, the, the blue star here is my favourite button. So I went through into and saved it as a favourite for my GS. So instead of going through your different series, trying to find your bike, etc. If you've only got one bike, your G series, your C series, and, and, and going the, the, the long way, you can put it into as, into as a favourite. So then the favourite comes straight up. So now what we need to do, we need to turn the motorcycle on. So turn the motorcycle on, and as you can see, the service light is now on and saying it needs a service. So what we're going to do, the easy way, we're going to reset that one, and it's basically straightforward. Within the app itself, we need to go into instrument cluster. So now it's going to connect to control unit and scroll right, um, and there it is right there, service reset. So that's now looking at it, and I think what it does is it goes from your last date into your new date and puts 12 months on it. I think it automatically does that. So that's the date of the motorcycle, which is the 15th, which is today. That's the mileage, and that's the, the date that it's going to be at the bottom, which is the 15th of 5th, 21, which is 10,000 miles. So you click reset. And it's as simple as that. You can change the mileage into the 10,000, you can change it to 5,000, you can change it to, to whatever you want. So once you've done that, just reset the date. And I believe, I think you've got to reset the mileage as well. So reset's okay. So we've done both on that. And then going back to the um, motorbike, as you can see now on the instrument cluster, the service light has now disappeared. And to prove that, we'll switch it off. And reset it. So service light has now gone off. So that's the easiest way of set resetting your service light with a motor scan, OBD reader, LX, and a cheap cable. So that was just a bit of a quick video regarding the motor scan software, the OBD Link LX, of how to reset your service light on your BMW motorbike if you're doing your own servicing. Um, £91.80 all in. It probably is the cheapest that you can buy. You can buy full modules, etc. Um, but if there's a few of you, the good thing about the motor scan software, it doesn't have dedicated VIN numbers, so you can so you can use this software on any bike service reset. So if you have a few mates, we've got um, GSs, and um, be quite cost effective. I hope this video has been helpful to you all with how to reset your um, service light. Give us a thumbs up if you like it. I'll put all the links down below where everything was bought. I'll do another video with the motor scan. Um, once I get used to it all, understand what everything does, and I'll do a bit more deep dive into it. That's all you subscribers. I hope you're enjoying the channel. Anything you'd like to comment, please comment down below. Give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget that subscribe button's down there somewhere. Somewhere. I think there's one comes up here, around here, I think. Um, ring that bell. Every time I upload a, um, a video, you'll get a notification. Hope everybody's keeping safe out there in this time. We can all ride motorcycles now, but be good out there. And as they say, we'll see you soon. Catch them all.